we will be able to benefit out of that in order to avoid the old age poverty. On National Health Insurance Fund, Your Excellency, Kotu Kenya equally thank you for appointing a new chairman and a board of the National Health Insurance Fund. Your Excellency, some of us may know Engineer Kamau personally, he's a man of no nonsense, and we are sure he will have to lead that board into new reforms and make sure that NHIF uh, 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 is closer to its mandate and it works and to it assist Kenyans of all shades and also to assist you in your universal health care as enshrined into our constitution. NHIF currently requires, it is in dire need of transformation because of the changing pattern and so many different diseases that are facing our workers everywhere including cancer which is so much prevalent in our republic on an area of climate change your excellency i want to thank you you took it upon yourself you went to sham el sheikh in egypt to be part of the global community in advocating and uh, finding ways as per how as a nation we can be able to mitigate the climate change which is caused by global warming and you went further your excellency to make sure that as we had a four-year drought you had to seek for spiritual guidance when you invited church leaders pastors and other uh, church uh, um, both uh, Muslims and Christians at State House to pray for what we are seeing now. It would have been with us right now here, but I promised you it can't rain until after your speech because I come from an area of people who control rain in Western Kenya. Your Excellence also last year in November while addressing the ITUC Congress in Melbourne, Australia, I lauded your government for its initiative towards disability inclusion. At this juncture, Your Excellence, I would kindly like to, uh, I would kindly request you to ensure that workers are represented on the governance board of the National Council for Persons with Disability. Because disability is with us, and we must also champion the aspirations of the people living with disabilities so that they can be part and part of our working community. An area that uh, John Sosakaja, our governor, touched on in an, in an area of uh, the security guys and the security companies we have, I want to say this, Your Excellency. As workers, we have written to you and remain grateful for your positive response towards ensuring that mechanization, the agricultural sector, and the outsourcing of labor are stopped. In every country, Your Excellency, the governments are concerned about their people, their working people. Kindly, Your Excellency, close your ears and don't listen to those who say outsourcing if it is outlawed, will deal a major blow to the way of doing businesses. This is a total lie because many countries have outlawed, have outlawed it because it amounts to indirect slavery. And the ILO we have said, we have, we have, we have said that if you outsource, those people outsourced working on your premises remains your responsibility. And you must accept them to have a free and independent negotiations of their CBA. Father, Your Excellency, outsourced labor does not feature anywhere in our revenue collection books, nor do they contribute to the NSSF and NHIF. Let your government take action because most of these outsourced people are paid in cash. A good example, Your Excellency, is the private security sector of which, uh, of which Governor Sakaja has just mentioned, where more than 1.2 million Kenyans are employed, yet most of them are paid in cash. 
There is another animal which has lived with us, your excellence, and this one you must also close your eyes and deal with it. This animal called SRC. SRC, when it was put in place, it was meant to advise particularly the public sector area of employment state officers and those other people but what it has done your excellency and this negates the principles of the international labor organization ILO convention number 87 and number 98 that they want to negotiate they want to decide on CBAs CBAs are freely negotiated between workers and employers on free you see on take on, on give and take basis there should be no any barrier in between and uh, 